Hey guys, thanks for showing up. I originally showed the single leg lateral cone hops in Mobility Drills 1.0. This video will show you various progressions so that you can tailor this to your athletic ability and also your goals. This move is extremely difficult as it involves a single leg repeatedly jumping over and over and then performing a 180 switch jump, sticking to the landing and then continuing to go through with the rest of the cone slaloms. To start off this move, lay around five cones, and your aim is to jump in between each cone, switching from right leg to left leg as you pass. Once you get to the end, stick the landing and make a nice smooth transition. Stage two of this move is increasing the distance between each cone. As you can see, I'm making each cone move a little bit farther apart, creating more distance between each cones. Now I'm gonna have to cover more distance with each jump forcefully exploding off of the ground and getting over each cone. Once you get to the left side, stick the landing on a single left foot, continue jumping over to the other side. The next progression would be really quick hops. Try to put your foot on the ground as least time as possible. Jump as fast as you can while covering distance. This will focus on minimal ground contact and force application, which is for all locomotive activities. One important note to remember is that you're always jumping towards midline. What that means is when you're on your right foot, you're going to jump to the left. Imagine you want to jump across the midline of your body. This will keep your body in an anatomical position and not put your joints at risk for jumping in an unnatural way. Now, the final progression of this move is doing a single leg. Once you get to the second last cone, you're going to complete a 180 switch, stick the landing and continuously go. Before we would alternate right foot, then left foot, then right foot, then left foot. This is a single leg blaster. One leg is working continuously all the time until that leg is really, really fatigued or until you, you know, you might feel like you're at a risk for bottoming out or crashing or just not completing the task. This will focus on balance, stability, ground contact, force application, and muscular endurance and power in each leg independently of the other. Try it. Love it. Thanks for showing up, guys.